Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is Human from Toolhouse and today I'm here to show you how you can create your Toolhouse agents and connect them to your favorite messenger so you have your AI agent sitting in your pocket. So in today's video, I'm going to use our community node at NA10. So if you haven't already installed our community node, you are going to see the link appearing on the screen. So pause the video, download our custom node, and it takes you only a few seconds to install that. After you've done that, I'm going to show you how you can create agents and connect them to Telegram and have an assistant there. If you haven't watched our previous videos, make sure you do that because we already have a couple examples of image generation where I create images using Toolhouse and edit them using Nano Banana and if you have if you just go back you're going to see the crypto assistant that you can create using toolhouse that gives you like ethereum prices or any other uh, cryptocurrency price you need but today as an example and i'm going to give you a general recipe right i'm going to teach you how you can create your own uh, personal assistant using your favorite niche of mcp servers that you need but today i'm going to show you the u.s national library of medicine the PubMed mcp server so you just type in some keywords and then it gives you some papers like you can type in here i'm showing autism trauma and adhd it will just return some papers for me to read and uh, be more knowledgeable about stuff right so this is the whole goal i'm going to show you from the start how you can create agents connect them to your favorite messenger it can be discord email slack but here i'm just using telegram because it's awesome and you're gonna love this video so first things first all you're gonna need is a toolhouse account pause the video install our community node and sign up to toolhouse you are going to see the sign up page pause the video and sign up it's free great after you've done that you're going to need an api key so on the down below go to api keys and just copy this you're going to need this for your workflows all right now you've done that before diving into the workflow and show you everything i'm going to show you how you can personalize personalize this tutorial for yourself right so if you go to app.toolhouse.ai head over to mcp servers you're going to a bunch of new mcp servers we added it's a it's a ton of mcp servers right so i'm not gonna scroll everything you're going to just look at stuff and connect it to your agent this is how easy it is connecting MCP servers to Toolhouse to agents and get them to your Telegram. Okay, just pause the video, sign up to Toolhouse, explore the MCP servers, and then continue the tutorial from there. Great. So now let's see how the US National Library of Medicine example works, right? So we just type in some keywords and then it will just return some papers for me. Let's try that out. So this is the workflow for it. So let's just run the whole thing, right? Execute workflow. We're starting with the Telegram trigger. So whenever you send a message, this trigger, this whole workflow will get triggered and it will get run. So what's going to happen as soon as I hit that message, Telegram trigger will get into action. A message will be displayed to the user saying, hey, I got you. I'm finding those papers. Please wait. And then we're sending that prompt from the user the keywords to my toolhouse agents uh, to find me some uh, papers for it after it found some papers we're going to loop over those response that all the papers it found we're going to loop over it and then send them to the user after it's done it's going to say i'm done you got all the papers for today that's as simple as it gets so okay the waiting for you to create an event in telegram is visible in our workflow so let's just go to the telegram uh bot great we're here you can see already i tested out and it gave me some responses but let's just test it out here i'm going to just type in adhd as the keyword and then press enter great we got the message finding papers from u.s national library of medicine using that mcp server and the toolhouse agent is getting into action is finding the papers it could be one it could be multiple you can change this and great everything sent successfully and we got our paper here so we got the journal childhood obesity and it has a summary this article examines the adherence and effectiveness of 
you know, it's really medical stuff, but I can see the word ADHD there and it's perfect. I can go and check out the whole uh, paper myself. So we are here at PubMed. I can just go ahead and read all of this stuff. I can just click on that as well to go and see the journal itself. Everything is there. Perfect. We have everything. But how you can change this example how I did it and how you can change it to your liking. So maybe the chances are you don't want papers from health. Maybe you want to do something else. So that's why I force you to watch those MCP servers. When you go and check out MCP servers at our store, you're going to see a lot of use cases or even some ideas you didn't think it was true, like uh, book search or Airbnb search, like listings or movie recommender or fire crawl or you name it, the Pokemon uh, MCP server or whatever your use case is, right? So you have all of these MCP servers here. If you know what you're going to connect this agent to, you're fine. But if you don't know your use case and you just want to mess around with, you can just visit this page and just scroll to the MCP servers until you find something that you want to play around with. So in my example, uh, with this paper fetching agent, was to go to this page and search for PubMed, the, the MCP server that I used. So I found a bunch of MCP servers from here. I chose this one. So you can just click on MCP servers to read more about them. So I click on the MCP server. I read more about it. I read the functions. I really like it. So I click this button, configure MCP server, and I copy the URL. That's all you're gonna need uh, for your agent. So click get that URL and go to agent studio this is where all your agents are I'm not going to create the agent since I already did it but I'm going to show you how I connected it click on that agent and it was super simple building that agent okay so this is how I did it so I just went to agent studio and I typed down create an agent to connect to this MCP server and pasted back the MCP server URL we just copied that's it my agent has now mcp server capability to pull up some papers from uh, the u.s national library of medicine that's as simple as it gets the only modification that i did here was to define a json output so the agent always always returns a structured output so i can always parse it to my uh, telegram bot so i defined this schema just a simple output. I always want the journal. The journal has a string type, a publication date, has this format, and a summary of that paper, of your findings, and a link to the paper. That's it. You can just define that. It will get uh, into your YAML file, so you can always see that there, and the agent will always return that structured output. Now, when you're done with the agent, you're happy with your agent in Agent Studio, you just need to click Publish, and you're going to see the balloons. Perfect. Now your agent is live. You can go back to Agent Studio and then play around with your agent. This was the agent that we just used. We defined it in this JSON schema. So always everything comes in in a beautiful boxes that we can just manipulate. See, response zero, journal, publication date, summary, link. Every paper has its own block that you can just manipulate or loop over on NA10 and it's super fantastic. Okay, great. We have everything there. Our workflow is looping through our papers and they're just sending it back to the user. If you want to create something new, you can just go back to Toolhouse, go to Agent Studio and create a new agent. Let's do that with you today. So create an agent. I don't know the agent. Let's go to the MCP servers. Great. I really like that movie recommender. I don't know about you guys, but movie recommender, let's go. Perfect. I found it. It gives you movies. Perfect. Only one function. Configure the MCP server. I'm going to copy that. Boom. Create an agent that connects to this MCP server. Great. The agent is coming to life. Perfect. 
Let's test it out. Before we define the JSON schema, let's just test it out. Hi, I'm looking for some good movie recommendations. I like science fiction and thrillers, but I'm open to other genres too. Can you suggest me if you... This is awesome. This is a good prompt. Let's just test this one out. Perfect. It's using the MCP server, get movies, and we got a bunch of movie recommendations. Inception, we got Blade Runner, Arrival, Con Girl, Parasite. Perfect. The way you can just define that the schema is by the following. All right, so I'm defining a JSON output for this. So I tested out this agent, right? It gave me a movie, it gave me a year, the genre and a description of the movie. So I defined this schema that says, you know, you must always return your response using the following JSON output format for each movie, right? And then I'm going to need the movie name, the release date and the summary. You can just expand this and add genres add more fields to your you know mcp uh to your json schema but this is what i like great the agent studio is modifying the agent file and updating the agent file so it always contains that we have a name for our agent personalized movie recommender and let's test it out one more time this time, everything should return in a JSON format. Perfect. This time, it returns everything in the JSON format, the movie name, the summary, the release date, and everything is there, right? So now, if I wanted to have this in my Telegram, I would just go back and remove all of this stuff. I'm going to duplicate it here. So let's do that. I'm going to fast forward, fast forward everything. So you don't lose any time watching me do this. Okay. That's it. We're done. So the only thing I changed was to go to the tool house node change my agent from uh, PubMed research assistant to personalized movie recommender. And I chose that. Let's run the workflow and see if we encounter any errors. Okay, great. Telegram is waiting for our message. All right, let's just paste the one this in. Boom. We have to change this message. That's fine. Let's see our workflow. Okay, this time Toolhouse is using this agent. This is how fast you can just change the agent from one thing to another thing. You just need to have that block of cells to just parse the output. We are going to encounter some errors, but we're gonna figure that out not. Don't worry. Okay, so here we need to change things because we always wanted to return papers. I had some pre-made messages. I'm here now changing it to uh, to a movie compatible uh, output. So here I don't want the summary. I want the name. So I'm going to change that to movie name. And we're going to use this block. This is why we, we, we define JSON input because we can just manipulate each cell. movie name we're going to put it as the movie name and we're going to release date is when the movie was released and I'm going to remove that previous one and placing a release date and this is not a paper anymore so I'm going to remove that actually I'm not going to remove it I'm just going to change it to summary and remove the red one put the green one 
and that's freaking amazing and I tend on tool house okay this one is done click save and this one the message movies are here great let's update the whole workflow now we adapt the messages for movie uh, scenario and yeah our agents gonna do fine let's type in again we are looking for uh, uh, so psychological thriller and mystery as the second keyboard and I'm going to press enter all right let's execute the workflow and yeah this time finding movies toolhouse is fetching the movies the new agent is doing that so here I'm seeing the personalized movie recommender I just swapped the agent that's it and we should got and the whole movies right so great we got the wow we got the movie uh, the psychology of Donald Trump is a medical doctors and mental health professionals go on camera for science behind the scene of examination of behavior interesting movie and uh, yeah this is how you can swap the agents from doing one thing to another thing and we went from getting papers about health to movie recommendations uh, something serious to something less serious you can just change everything if you want to automate your tasks your you know everything can be automated using ai agents you just need to connect that mcp servers to it and define that prompt for it so your agents can just run everything for you this was a quick tutorial to show you how you can agent how you can create agents how you can connect it to your n810 workflow and how you can just swap it and define that json schema that will make your life easier when you're using n810 i hope you found this video cool and useful I really want you to write me in the comments what you're building with Toolhouse. I'm super curious about that. And if you like to move on and purchase our paid plans, if you're a Toolhouse user, Toolhouse is free. But if you want to explore our paid plans, make sure you use code HUMAN at the checkout. That will give you 50% off. Make sure you get that code and just plug it in while it's there. Code HUMAN. 50% off on our paid plans and I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye bye everybody.